assistant professor at Department of Plant Pathology uh, at University of Minnesota, Twin Cities. What is psyllium wilt is a uh, disease caused by a fungal pathogen, namely verticillium dahlia. And these pathogens uh, have a very peculiar disease life cycle where they make these microsclerotia, which can maintain in the soil for much longer time, like over a decade making it difficult to manage through normal management practices like crop rotation because of the way this, this pathogen can survive in the soil. So verticillium dahlia, they infect uh, through root. So they co start colonizing the stem from the bottom and the earliest symptom what you can see is on uh, these lower leaflets. So what you see specifically is that one side of the leaf are dead before moving to other side of the leaf and uh, symptoms looks like curling of leaf and browning so as uh, disease progresses in like um, 20 days or 21 days once you start infecting it moves upward and as you can see the plants start dying and that is what uh, you should see in your field and you can identify verticillium will. For managing this uh, verticillium wilt crop disease in potato, normally uh, growers use fungicide, but that's not very successful because these are soil-borne pathogen, and the most successful way of controlling this pathogen is fumigation. But the problem with the fumigation is they actually kill everything in the soil, impacting soil health, which includes beneficial macro. So in long run, that is not very good for the soil. So to, to find a solution how we can control this disease, we are looking into a few different aspects. Uh, we are looking at management aspect and then also using uh, varietal resistance in potato to control this disease. So as you can see in, in this field, this is a verticillium wilt nursery where you will see uh, a good progress of verticillium wilt in the field. So here you see stakes. Uh, all around the field where we are screening number of potato clones which includes some commercial varieties which are known to be susceptible all little tolerant but we have like 30 or 40 different clones which are new varieties which has come through University of Minnesota breeding program uh, run by Dr. Laura Sanan and uh, from PepsiCo. So uh, our aim is to understand the genetics of this plant so that we can control the pathogen. So another thing we, which we are uh, studying is impact of environment on verticillium wilt. So you can see here, we had some sensor for which we are collaborating with GEMS under Dr. Phil Pardy. So uh, what we are trying to understand is how the heat, uh, temperature, moisture of the soil and carbon dioxide activity in the soil impacts uh, verticillium wilt. These are soil bond pathogens, so the environment in the soil also matters. We are trying to address all uh, these different ways to find a way to control verticillium wilt.